In this machine learning class, we will see improving performance of a model. Okay, so here uh, we try to improve uh, the model performance, right? That will come under second unit. So in this class, we will see the model selection requirements. What are the requirements there to select a model and tuning the model parameter? How do we improve by simply tuning the model parameter? For this, we will see the K nearest neighbor algorithm as example. After that, combining several models. So this is another method. Here we try to combine more number of models uh, to improve the performance, right? So for that, uh, the ensemble method. So this is the diagram for ensemble method. After that, uh, the bootstrap aggregation that is bagging. After that, we will see the uh, adaptive boosting, which is otherwise called as adapt boosting. So let us uh, see these things in our today's class. First, let us see the requirements for selecting a model. Right? So, based on many aspects, we can select the model. So, four are very important. First one is the type of learning task. Which type of learning we are going to implement? It may be either supervised learning, unsupervised learning or reinforcement learning. And second one is the type of data we are using. The first one is categorical data or numerical data. Accordingly, we can select our model. And third one is the problem domain. Which particular domain? So, based on the domain, we can select our model. And first one is, the most important one is experience. So, based on the previous experience, we can select our model, right? For improving the performance of model, the first method is tuning model parameter. Tuning model parameter is nothing but adjusting the model fitting options. Adjusting the model fitting options. Okay, this is one of the effective way to improve the performance of that particular model. Most of the machine learning algorithms definitely have at least one parameter which can be tuned. Okay, we have to identify that particular parameter and adjust the value of that par parameter. Then the performance will get improved. First, uh, let us see one example for this. That is K nearest neighbor algorithm. This is one of the popular classification model. Right here, the parameter k is uh, used to identify the number of nearest neighbors. Number of nearest neighbor. Okay. See, for example, this is uh, the value. For example, the arbitrary value. From here, we just try to identify the number of parameters. Number of nearest neighbors. So, from here... Um, if k value is 1 means only one neighbor. If k value is 2 means it can consider 2 neighbors. 3 means 3 neighbors. 5 means 5 neighbors. So by adjusting the nearest neighbors, we can easily classify the data. We can easily classify the data. Right? So this is one method. And second one is when come to neural network model, the number of hidden layers may be adjusted. So, in neural network, three layers are very important. First one is input layer and second one is output layer and the third one is number of hidden layers. Okay. At least one hidden layer should be there. Suppose if we adjust the number of hidden layers, then definitely our model performance will get improved. Okay. So, this is neural network model. In neural network model, we have to adjust the number of hidden layers. The next approach to improve the performance of model is uh, several models may be combined together. And finally, we can consolidate the output so that the model performance will get increased. The problem in combining several models is one model may be good in one type of data set and it may be struggle with another type of data set. Like the same, another model may be there. This may be good in this type of data set and bad in this type of data set, vice versa. Okay. Now, we, we try to take the advantage of all those things and collect the result. Then finally consolidate those results so that the model performance will get somewhat improved. For this, we can use ensemble method. 
ensemble method means it will combine different models combine different models for example see naive model decision tree model sva model etc and so model n some different model so all the models will be used here and averaging the basis of different underlying models so all the output will get average and it also reduces the variance of those models okay so the output will be uh, combined by using the combiner and finally we will get the final output okay so the advantage of ensemble uh, method is this method combines the weaker learners into stronger one so finally we will get a stronger model and now let us see the steps in an ensemble process the first we need to select the number of models based on the training data so based on the training data that is the size of training data we need to select how many models we require so number of models should be selected based on training data and second step we need to allocate training data to all the models by using allocation function okay so by using allocation function uh, for naive base how many data should be allocated for training this model right so for this allocation function we can use bootstrapping bootstrapping means if training data is very small we can use bootstrapping okay we have already seen the bootstrapping in our previous class itself okay so it is used to, to generate the unique training data set for all the models for all the models we are using here right instead of the allocation function we can use the same training data for all the models okay because the output of those model will be definitely different right so for example the output of spm neural network and the k nearest neighbor network will be definitely different and the fourth step is the output from different models are combined by using the combination function so here the combiner function is there by using the combiner function we can combine the output of all the models so finally we will get our final output definitely this output will get uh, improved when compared to any one of the single output for combining the output different methods are there the most popular one is majority voting majority voting of different models are combined right uh, for example let us take uh, cricket team winning or losing winning or losing here suppose if we use five methods five learning methods and three predict win the team will win the match and two predict lost the match the team will lose the match round now see majority is three majority is Three, hence the output will declare the team will win the match right so this is called as majority voting method next let us see bootstrap aggregation or uh, bagging okay this is uh, most popular ensemble method here bagging is used to, uh, the bootstrap sampling method to generate multiple training data set okay because we are using multiple methods or models right for every model we have to create the uh, separate training data set isn't it for that we can use the bagging technique here the data sets are used to generate a set of models using the same learning algorithm using the same learning algorithm and the outcome of model are combined by majority voting in classification or average in the regression so every model will produce the output so if it is classification function we can use the majority voting if it is regression model then we can use the average average of all the output here the bagging is very much suitable for unstable learners for unstable learners like a decision tree that means here a slight change in training data that impact a huge in the outcome of that model 
the boosting is another uh, ensemble technique here the weaker learning models are trained on resampled data on resampled data and the outcomes of all the models are combined by using weighted voting approach based on the performance of different models right so the adaptive boosting which is otherwise called as ada boost is a special variance of boosting algorithm okay adaptive boost which is otherwise called as ada boost it is based on idea of generating weaker learners and slowly learners okay to improve the performance of weaker learner or slowly learners we can use the ada boost technique for example let us take the random forest algorithm okay this is another ensemble method it is an ensemble of decision trees ensemble of decision trees that means the different decision tree algorithms are used here for the same training data for the same training data so different decision trees will form the random forest right so far we have seen improving performance of your model so this is the last topic of uh, first chapter in second unit that is the first part of second unit right so we have seen the model selection requirement tuning model parameter and combining several methods uh, by using these two methods definitely the performance of your model will get improved and from the next class we will move to next chapter from second unit that is basics of future engineering